Hello everyone, it's Queen Bean Line back to you with another video. This video pertains to the Earl Arkansas election results as it pertains to 18-year-old Jalen Smith, who is now the youngest mayor within these United States. You heard me right. The people have spoken and they have voted for Jalen Smith and he will lead his city of Earl Arkansas. Arkansas this city has over 1,800 residents he is one of the youngest mayor elected in the United States and will become the youngest member of the African American Mayors Association this goes to to show that dreams do come true and that you are not too young to following your dreams and goals. If you're old enough to fight for your country and you are old enough to vote, then why not pursue politics and be the change you wish to see in your communities. Now, you will watch this brief interview with ABC News and Jalen Smith. And I will be back with more commentary his journey and his plans for Earl Arkansas. Jalen, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for having me. Oh, it's such an honor. So let's just start by, why did you decide to run? Well, it all started in high school with the Student Government Association. And within an organization, we made a difference, but not only in the school district, but we made a difference in my community. And I wanted to do more. And so within an organization, within an organization that, drew, that organization drove me where I am today, Mary Lake of Rural Arkansas. Well, it's just incredible. And, and what was it like when you found out you won? How did, how did it feel? It felt exciting. I was very grateful, you know, that the people of Rural Arkansas led me to be the next youngest, was well, the first youngest African-American mayor of the nation. So... Did you have a hard time getting people to take you seriously because you were so young? And if so, how did you respond to that? What did you tell them? Well, I did. Some, I did. Some of them was taking me as a joke, and some of them wasn't. A lot of people in the community wanted to change. Majority of the majority of the people in the community wanted to, wanted to make wanted to a change to happen in Earl, Arkansas. And to the people that the people was taking me seriously, just told me, just give me a chance to get in here in this office and move our city forward. Not only with me, but with the city council and the people working together as one to move our city forward. Amen. Well, your campaign focused on improving transportation, public safety, increasing residents' access to food sources. Tell me why you picked those issues, Jalen. Why are they important to you? Well, I pick public safety because our police department is not 24-7 police department. And we have to rely on the county when they're when they're not at work to come to the calls. They take them about 30 minutes to get to Earl, you know, from all across the county. And if we have our police officers, our police officers respond quickly and effectively to those calls. And the reason why I picked, you know, a grocery store, because we had a grocery store, also a grocery store in our city years ago. And we want to bring that back because it's hard for our elderly and our people to travel to and from, from Earl to West Memphis, Arkansas, Wynn, Arkansas, to Walmart to get the groceries or to a grocery store to get groceries, we can have one right within the seat of Earl, Arkansas. I love it. You have put so much thought into this. And Jalen, not are you just, you know, a, a, an inspiration for both the black community and Generation Z, but you also told us you were diagnosed with a learning disability, which you said makes it hard, you know, to do well on standardized tests. But you clearly didn't let anything get in the way of your campaign and running for mayor. Tell me what inspires you, who inspires you, what kept you moving forward? 
Well, my family kept me moving forward. I was raised by a village of people. I wasn't raised by a single mother. I was raised by a village of people that motivated me daily, and I was very disciplined. And uh, it motivated me to always do great things, you know, live that dream you wanted to live. And I always believed in myself. I can do uh, what I uh, do, what God ordered me to do. And so this is one of the assignments God put on my heart to do to make a difference within Earl, Arkansas. And don't worry about the negative comments that, you know, that, 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 are, that are coming to me. But and I use those negative comments as motivation to prove those people wrong, you know. You sure did prove them wrong, and you are a shining light, Mr. Mayor. So here's our question. Uh, do you have your eyes set on Washington, maybe a member of Congress, a senator, president of the United States? How far are you going to take this? I'm going, I'm praying to become the president of the United States one day. Amen to that. And by the way, I understand you're still living at home. So is mom a special advisor to you? I'm just curious. <laughs> She, she's she's my kind of my, my supporter, my motivational person that motivates me to keep moving forward. Your pre your press secretary, right? <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Yes. All right. So your advice to others, your age, younger, older, uh, to pursue a career in politics, but they think they might not be able, they may not have what it takes. What do you say to them? I say, I would say to them. Do what your heart desire. You know, uh, God put us on this earth to be successful in different ways. If you have a heart of, and a, you have a heart of making a difference or being in politics, whatever that dream you may be, pursue that dream regardless of what people say to you. Continue to push forward and use that motivation as, use that negative activity uh, as motivation to prove those people wrong. Congratulations to the people of Earl Arkansas for seeing Jalen Smith's vision. Congratulations to the youngest mayor within these United States, Jalen Smith, for going after your dream and inspiring others to follow theirs as well. I thank you for watching. Please be safe out here and I will see you in the next video.